We'll start with the Mustard R30 size 12 dry fly hook. We've got some Shear 14 aught claret. We'll just attach this and we'll go a wee ways back. This is a hot spot sedgehog. We'll just take that to there. Then we need some glow bright floss. You can choose the colour yourself. Now the best way to do this is just put it on your fingers and go around like this. Then cut it. We take that little bunch. You don't need much, four or five strands. We'll just go back to about there. Then we can trim that off. Work our way forward over the floss. Don't need to go any further than that, just so it's secure. Trim that off. And then we go back to there. Take a little bunch of cleaned and stacked deer hair. I want to go back to twice the length of the floss tail. Hold that there and then we go once, twice loosely, then we tighten that up and we go through the deer hair. Keep it nice and tight. This will stop it from spinning just so we have a little tail like that. Then we can hold all this up Trim it away. Just pull these ones off. We can take a little bit more off that. Yeah, just so that little floss tail is visible under the deer hair. And we go back into the base of the bunch. We take a tiny pinch of claret seals fur. Hold the tail out the way. Tighten that up again. If you find it difficult with seals fur, you can use some wax on your tying thread. So we go back into that like that. And we have another bunch of cleaned and stacked the air. We want this same length as the tail. Again twice around. Tighten up and then holding the tail or holding the tips of the deer head on top of the hook shank we go through. Tighten through forward. It's good. We pull everything up again. You don't want to cut the wing of course. Get rid of that. Everything up. Trim off the butt ends. So there's not too much there. Like so. That's good. And then we can go back through this again. Uh, into the wing base. Another small bunch of claret seals fur. little bit more. I just need to go back into this a wee bit. There we go. Tighten that up again. That's good. To there. 
another bunch of dirt here. Twice around, tighten. Now what I like to do with this front bunch is pull the hairs back like this and go through like so pull everything up again trim it away pull off these others And trim this down ready for the next bunch or the next bit of dubbing and go back into the wing base another pinch of dubbing In up into the wing again, now a small bunch of deer hair, twice around again, tighten into that. Pull back the fibres a little bit at a time. And then I like to put one whip finish in there. Just to keep things in order. And then we can trim off all of these. Little bit of seals for there, just take that away. That'll do us. That'll do us. Then we need a light brown or a ginger hackle. I'll just spin up my tying thread. And I'll tie this in right in to the wing base. Pull everything back. Trim that off. go forward then I'll put a single whip finish in there take a hackle plier pop that on we only need a couple of turns here Everything back. There we are. Form a little head. And secure with a couple of whip finishes. scissors and remove that. Gonna remove our tying thread. Now what we want to do is we want to turn this upside down and we want to trim off any hackles that are underneath and we can trim down the seals for our body just so it's nice and smooth. And that's it. Puff up the wing. And you can see the hot spot hopefully there on the underside. 
And that's the finished hotspot Sedgehog. It's a fabulous pattern and will work all year round, literally. So please give it a go. If you enjoy the videos, please like, share and subscribe. And thanks for watching.